Hello, third grade. Today we are going to keep talking about the International Space Station and some of my personal heroes like Mae Jemison and all of their journeys up to the space station, which is pretty cool. So, ready to read along with me? Chapter 13, the International Space Station. Would you like to have a bedroom in outer space? Some astronauts do. The United States and other countries use the space shuttle to send astronauts to the International Space Station. The space station orbits Earth. Three astronauts can live there at one time. They stay for six months at a time. This image shows the space station. Now, when I look over at this picture, before I even look at the caption, I know from my background knowledge of what we know is that this is the astronaut Mae Jemison that we learned about. And it says right here in the caption, Mae Jemison achieves her goal of becoming an astronaut. And as we read before, we know that that was a really long journey for her to get to be where she was. So I think that's pretty cool. Again, before I start reading, I want to look at this caption right here. It says the space station orbits Earth. So I know right here that this is the space station that we're talking about. And it's pretty cool because you can see right here that this is Earth and these little white puffy things are actually our clouds. So this is right now above us orbiting all around. And sometimes we can see that and sometimes we actually do confuse the space station and other satellites with stars. But you might notice sometimes that they're blinking or that they move really, really, really fast in a certain way. So maybe if you look up at the stars, you might actually be seeing the space station. The space station orbits far above Earth, so the astronauts in the space station don't feel the effects of gravity like we do on Earth. When we lift our arms and legs here on Earth, we have to work against gravity. That is good for us. It helps us stay in shape. But astronauts in space don't have the effects of gravity to work against. They do not get much of a workout from drifting around. They have to run at least once a day to stay in good shape. In this image, you can see an astronaut jogging in space. So look down here. She looks really happy about it. It says, astronauts have to jog in space to stay in shape. And you know, when you guys are working with Mr. E and you guys are doing your fitness challenges, again, they have to stay in shape too. Even though they're way up there, they have to make sure that they're just not lying around. It'd be like the same as us sitting on a couch all day. They need to get up, move their legs, get their blood pumping, everything great. You can see right here, this doesn't look like a normal gym or doesn't look like a fitness studio to me at least. But you can see right here, this looks like the mechanics, the computer part of her treadmill. And this kind of looks like she's strapped in. But again, you can see her hair is kind of flying around. And I know sometimes Mrs. Badman comes in with hair like that. But sometimes... When you're in space, she's flying around. The hair doesn't lay like ours does. So she's kind of fighting. She's doing two different things. She doesn't have to fight gravity. She kind of, everything's just floating around. So I'd be really curious one day to see what it would feel like to jog without any gravity. Maybe one day you guys can tell me when you guys are astronauts. You guys can send me a letter in the future and say, tell me exactly how it's like to jog in space. So look right here. This is another picture that's caught my eye. These guys are floating, right? You don't see people laying like that. And if you turn your head, it kind of looks like they're laying. You can kind of see it says, these two astronauts are taking a nap in space. How many of you guys have ever napped upside down? I know I've never done that. So that looks really interesting to me. You can see him. He's got his little sleeping, sleeping mask on. He's ready to take a nap. These two men are sleeping in space. They don't feel the effects of gravity. So they are moving freely within the spaceship. This means they can sleep right side up or upside down. It is all the same. Do you think you would like sleeping this way? What do you guys think? Taking a shower in space is tricky. On Earth, the water comes out of the spout. It falls down and splashes on your body. Then it runs off. But this is not what happens in space. In space, you have to rub the water on your skin. Also, it does not just drip off. You have to scrape it off. You have a, to shower in a little pod. 
The pod keeps the water you scrape off your skin from drifting off into the air. If it drifted off, it might cause problems. It might mess up the computers and the equipment inside the space station. Because remember, they've got a lot of engineering things. They've got a lot of tools. And if I don't know if you guys ever just please don't ever do this. Getting water near anything electrical causes it to break. That's why I'm sure like if you have your phone, your computer, your TV, anything you plug in, you do not want water anywhere near it. So think about in the space station, if the water just kind of floats around, they want to make sure that they keep that in because if any of those water droplets in the computer goes, sparks go everywhere and you don't want that in space. So let's see. You can see that lots of things are different when you live in space. That is why leaving the space station and coming back to Earth can be hard. It takes time for the astronauts to get used to Earth again. After months in space, they struggle with gravity on Earth. Their arms and legs feel heavy. They find it hard to stand up. They feel off balance. But in a few weeks, they begin to feel normal again. Sometimes when they look up at the sky, they even feel a little homesick for their home in outer space. Every night.